happy Cuatro de Cinco to you all. Going to do a little brief talk about a phenomenal show called Arrested Development. Now, Arrested Development is streaming on Netflix as we speak as they picked it up and brought you the last few seasons of it. It started off on Fox many moons ago. And it's widely acclaimed as great, but it just didn't catch on with the audience. And I understand why, because I remember when it came out, I tuned into an episode here or there. And it's kind of a show you got to watch all the way through. You can't like skip around because the story ties in the whole way. I enjoy those shows. Now, once I started watching it from the beginning through the end in chronological order, I fell in love with the show. The humor is just offbeat enough and subtle enough to make me pee my pants laughing all the time. Not literally, kind of. But Mitchell Horowitz just uh, knocked it out of the park with this show. And I'm I'm sad I didn't give it its due when it was on TV. And even when I was in college and I people would watch it around me. And I, I just didn't get into it because I wasn't. I didn't watch it from the beginning, and I think once I did that, it helped. The reason why I started watching it was I had just had, uh, my wife had had her tonsils out, and she was recovering. I had just had something get lodged in my throat and needed to be inflated to get out, and I scary medical thing, and I was just at home helping her, recuperating, and when I needed a break or when she was asleep and I needed to rest... Netflix had just started streaming this, and I was like, you know what, let's try it. And God damn, it was great. The Bluth family is, <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to parody what Donald Trump's family is like, because they're both in real estate, they're both shady, they both do shady overseas deals type thing. I don't know, I never researched it that enough, but the family dynamic, the characters, they all play into each other so well, with uh, Michael being the straight nose, trying to impress everyone, be by the book, having to be shady all the time just to get things done with the family who just has no concept of right or wrong or what money means. How much can a banana possibly cost? $10? Hmm. The little jokes throughout and the little nuances throughout the show are just so funny, so good. And yeah, it went downhill when Netflix picked it up but that's because they tried to do something with it that they shouldn't have because the actors couldn't all film at the same time. So someone would film their role to probably someone in a green suit while someone else f filmed their other role and then they superimposed them together like they were in the same room. And then now they've recut it. So it's they tried too much to make it work. Uh, later seasons, while they are funny, it gave me the opening of Cinco de Cuatro. It just it fell off the rails because they tried to force it when it could have been so much better had they not forced things and maybe waited until everyone could be together. I mean, hell, Portia de Rossi, I think, dropped out the last season, didn't want any part of it. But it's streaming on Netflix. I highly suggest you watch this one from the episode one on. Do not skip around. Do not pick it up in the middle. You got to go all the way through in order to fully enjoy it, fully buy into it, is my opinion. But the writing of it is phenomenal. The story of it is so absurd and it's told in such a way that you just the, the performances also accentuate it and make you just die laughing. Uh, the little the little things that carry throughout, like Job's entrance music for all his calm magic shows of the final countdown. It's just the everyone's a fish out of water in it. And that type, it just it leads to so much good comedy, and it's a show that holds up. Every time I watch it, I find new things to laugh at. I laugh at the old things, which is a sign of good writing and good jokes and just overall quality. So streaming on Netflix, check out Arrested Development. I'm going to have more to say on this one later. This was just a quick qu happy Quattro de Cinco uh, moment for all you guys. Thanks for tuning in. You are awesome. <music>